Hello everyone and welcome to another battle report and today we are doing the English Civil War. So I'm joined again by Miller from Miller's Miniatures and uh, we're having a bit of a big one today aren't we? Oh we're going in. We're going in. So last time we played this um, we were talking about uh, doing a bigger table and um, well we've done it. So today we are fighting on an eight foot wide table. Uh, we're still just six foot um across but um we're able to hopefully get a bit more movement and um and yeah and just see what's going so we have decided we're just doing going to do a straight up fight victory points are going to be awarded for destroyed units and shaken units at the end of the game and uh, and that's it and we're going to have to we're going to say that you need to win by three clear points to win the game uh, there might be a couple of other little bits that we're going to add in which we'll come into uh in a second um i'm fighting with the royalists and miller is the parliamentarians now as you can see because we want to we're on a bigger table and we want to get things going we have already deployed our armies so we'll roll through who has what in a second and who is who um, but here's just a view of the battlefield as it is. We've got um, sort of the outskirts of a small hamlet over there, which the parliamentarians have taken and then they've been sort of billeted in. Um, we have just some nice open fields and open heathland here. Uh, nice big areas of uh, field up here. We have another road uh, cresting a ridge line over here because we have got a bit of a rise going on here um, and then we just have more open fields over here um, the royalists have turned up from the south and they are they are assaulting essentially the, the positions but this is going to be a straight up battle you looking forward to it i am very much looking forward to it i bet you are i bet you are nothing to do with a recent announcement that we're playing this absolutely nothing at all um, but to be fair uh, you guys were asking for more pike and shots so here we are. So what I'll do is we'll have a quick rundown of the commanders and the armies and then we'll just get stuck into it. Okay, so just to keep things interesting, we've added in a little bit of flavour into here. So over here by the uh, deserted wagon, we have some deserters from both the parliamentarians and the royalist armies. You can see them here. Now, these are the lovely deserter models, uh, looters from um, Bloody Miniatures. So there you go. Look, we're getting their ill-gotten gains. So there's one, un one deserter base there, and there is another one over here. Now, these have deserted from the armies in the night, and they're trying to make their way away now basically what we're going to do each turn we're going to use the good old-fashioned scatter dice and we are going to roll for these um, at the start of each command phase we are going to roll they're going to go 2d6 inches in a direction shown uh, on the scatter dice if we roll the target then they just stop if they contact an unengaged unit that unit has captured them killed them taken their stuff and it just counts for one victory point at the end of the game they're not impeded by terrain or cover and if they hit a building they go into the building uh, you can purposely move over them um, but if they run into a combat they're just killed um, and neither side gets the points it's just a way of adding a little bit of fun so one bonus victory point for them and one bonus victory point for them so they could just run off the board um, but it is a way of just adding just a little bit of fun. So we'll see what's going to happen with those deserters. They don't block line of sight and they don't impede any movement to other units. Um, what we've got in the way of scenery and terrain, the sort of ed the lichen, which is sort of the edges of the fields here, that is does not count as an obstacle. Obstacles are only areas where you've actually got walls and hedgerows. Um, obviously, we have the wood there, which blocks line of sight. We have two zones over here in a little hamlet. So we've got one there and one there. So uh, and then um, over here, obviously, we in this field, we have cover there and we have the walls here. Um, in terms of rough ground, and difficult going there is there is none on here basically we don't want there to be a situation in the middle where it just comes down to, to hide in behind cover this side of the field yes you've got that and over there but in the middle essentially this area here is open apart from this one obstacle we've got to get over here um so without further ado i suggest we just go and, and get into the commanders so we'll start with the parliamentarian forces we've both got three battalion each um we've not basis on any points values essentially we've said that there can be up to five units per battalion and if one of those units is large it counts as two units so we'll roll through each of the commanders um, who's in charge of the armies and the battalion and explain what we've got in each of those battalions so we'll head over to miller so 
Who's in charge? Okay, so uh, the army's based off of the Eastern Association, but the Earl of Essex has come and taken over command of the army. So he is my general for the army. Uh, my centre battalion, I've got the Earl of Manchester, who's got a battalion of pike and shot, uh, a cannon and a unit of commanded shot. Does he have any special abilities? Uh, neither of them do. Earl of Essex would have one if I took. he's allowed to take halberds or cuirassiers as a free unit. Uh, and obviously I haven't done either of them, so he is just going to get his normal plus one to combat resolution. Yep. Uh, and the same with the uh, Earl of Manchester. Again, he's got no special rule, so he just gets the plus one. Uh, on the left-hand side, uh, I've got Lawrence Crawford. Uh, again, he has no special rule. He's got a unit of pike and shot, which is a three units, uh, a small cannon, and another single unit of pikemen, which have tough fighter. Okay, and then over here, who else do we have? We've got Oliver Cromwell, who, again, his special rule is if he joins a unit of Ironsides, he gets a bonus to the combat resolution, but as I've not taken any, he just gets his plus one to combat resolution. He's in charge of uh, another unit of pike and shot, a small cannon, and then a unit of dragoons, which have marauders, so they don't suffer any command rolls or any negatives on the command rolls. For, for being, being too, too far. far. Excellent. Okay. Well, there we go. That is the uh, the parliamentarian force um, that we're we're facing over. We need to think of a, a name for this battle so I can, I can actually I actually put it on um, on the video. But um, I'll roll through who we have for the royalists. It's not really any different to uh, what I had last time, except I have the addition of one more uh, commander. So, leading the royalist army is King Charles the First. Um, he is a general with a command rating of eight, and um, his ability is that one unit of horse and one unit of pike in the army gain elite and valiant. So he basically has made them the king's guard. So that big unit of pike is going to be have elite and valiant, as is one of my units of horse. Now, the 1st Battalion is commanded by Lord Jacob Astley, um, who has a command rating of nine. He also has a special rule, march on boys. All infantry units within 12 inches of Astley may count as superbly drilled and use the move, a free move once during the game. So that's going to be quite important for getting people moving. He has a large unit of pikemen, two standard units of musketeers, a medium cannon um, under his control. On the right flank, I have Lord Hopton, who uh, is uh, got two units, standard units of musketeers, one standard unit of pike, a standard unit of horse, and a galloper gun. Now, Hopton has a command rating of nine, and all pike units in his battalion gain the tough fighters and stubborn rule. So they're going to be quite sort of hard to move. And then finally, on my left flank, I have uh, Bard, who is uh, leading his rather infamous unit. Um, he has no special rule, so he just adds one to any combat he is in. He has two standard units of musketeers, a standard pike block, and a unit of horse under his command, as well as a unit of, uh, well, storming party. Um, all of my units in the Royalist Army who have firearms gain the first fire rule, which we still haven't quite worked out why, but I don't mind that. Um, on the other side, Miller has a couple of units with first fire. Um, so we are going to be dicing to see who gets the initial turn, and um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. It's going to be hopefully uh, a lot of pikes, and hopefully I'll win this because I just realised I'm 2 nil down in the ECW stakes, and also I don't think I've actually won a game on the channel since about October, so we need to change that. So anyway, let's, uh, let's roll to see who has turn one. Miller, you got a dice? Oh, uh, I have. Be interesting to see if you manage to blow one of your cannons up this time as well. Yeah, thanks for that. Brilliant. Well, Robin's not here, so we need nice. to be in Robin's memory. Five, three. three. Ooh, um, I think the Royalists are going to take the first turn.
Okay, so that was a pretty good round of orders for me. Um, let's start with the deserters. Over here, this deserter uh, sort of started running towards the Royalists for some reason. Over here, you can't see the deserter because uh, he ran over here and then Hopton executed a battalion order and the whole lot has gone. So I've moved the whole battalion up. They captured a deserter on the way um, and took all his stuff. And um, they are, they're all formed up here. So we've got the uh, the pike and the two wings of musketeers are ready. The horse have moved and formed line. The galloper gun is up there and ready. So over here, hopefully there's gonna be a lot of fire and we're gonna see that wing of the parliamentarian army just melt away. Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. Uh, in the center, Wanted to be a little bit more reserved because I want my cannons to be able to do something. So um, over here, um, Astley's lot have only moved forward one order. On the left-hand side, however, Bard has pushed forward quite a bit. Now, things are a little bit constrained over here. So I've kind of fallen out of the normal formation and I've got my musketeers leading the way uh, towards Cromwell's unit. Um, over here, um, Carey's cavalry haven't really done what I wanted them to do. They stopped short. However, my storming party has moved up to take position um, on that corner. So hopefully going to be able to do some things with them. So I think we're going to kick things off with uh, Hopton and um, his shooting up there. Okay, so let's kick things off. This wing of musketeers is going to fire at that wing of musketeers on Crawford's um, battalion. So um, I have first fire, so I'm using three dice. I'm not within close range, and other than that, so I've just got three dice hitting on fours. That's a disorder and two hits. Uh, you need two saves of, is it five for these guys? Uh, they're just normal musketeers, so yes. Two saves of five. One. one. So one casualty and disordered. Okay, next, this unit here is going to fire at their counterpart directly opposite. Three dice again, hitting on fours. That's uh, three hits and they're disordered. Three saves of five. Uh, two casualties and disordered. Right, my galloper gun is going to fire at that pike unit directly opposite. It's... Um, over half range, so I'm going to be at minus one to hit. It counts as a light cannon, so I'm hitting on a six. Hey! So they're disordered, and uh, uh, that's a round save. Now, is there any modifier if you're hit by a cannon? Hit by light or medium artillery, minus two. What's the save on Pikeman? Uh, Pikeman is four plus. So. Okay, it's... so the, yeah, the save is four plus, the cannon's minus two, so you need a six. So one casualty and you're disordered. Okay, so that's, um, oh no, I've got the, uh, the the heavy cannon or the, the medium cannon. Um, I don't think I'm within 18 inches of that. because it's 36 inch range, isn't it? Yep. So no, I'm not within 18. So I'm gonna fire directly at the uh, the small unit of very- Commanded shot. Commanded shot, there we go. I couldn't think of the word. Uh, so it's one dice hitting on a six. Ah. Right, in that case, um, I think we'll we'll just keep moving to the left, and this medium cannon is going to fire directly at the unit opposite. Again, they're gonna be hit. Oh, it's 36 inches, isn't it? So they might be out of range. They're definitely in range. Okay, but they're not within 18, so I'm not gonna get the two dice, and I am not going to uh, get the bonus. So they are hitting on a six. That's a one. Um, I don't think anyone's in range. I checked the storming party, they're not in range. And the only thing that is in range over here are these musketeers at the front, we already pre-measured. Now, obviously you can see on our bases, we have these extra sort of areas at the front to allow for the pikes. The front of the unit is the front of the base. So like my ones here, that is the front of the unit where, well, at the moment it's where he's standing, but um, when you actually, you've got the pikes out in front, it's where the front of the base is. So I'm gonna get three shots. Um, and I'm just going to be hitting on fours. I think, to be fair, actually. Would you give it obscured? We'll give them obscured. That makes sense. So, three shots hitting on fives. Okay. Oh, two hits. Uh, two saves of... Is it four for Pikes? Four, 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 four for Pikes, pikes yeah. Oh. One casualty. So, one Miller puts that, that down. Um, so, over in the middle and on that side, not a great deal. But over here, um, it's Crawford, isn't it? Crawford's uh, taken a bit of a battering. Um, so he's not going to be going very far this turn, and unless Miller's going to throw that pike unit forward unsupported. Um, but then also, does he want to be in receipt of 
all of this no, no. Um, next turn. Plus, the interesting thing for me is, obviously, I've got cavalry. If he, um, he will lose that disorder at the end of his next turn, um, but the cavalry is sitting there ready. Anyway, we will go into Parliamentarian turn one. Right, okay, so there's a little bit of a problem there because someone forgot to press record. Um, that would be me. So, Miller, do you want to just roll us through what happened during your uh, your command phase? Okay, we'll start at this end. Um, the musketeers moved up. I wanted them to move into the hedgerow, but unfortunately I didn't roll enough. So this one only made one move. I managed to get this one to make the same so they weren't staggered. But they're in the trees, so they're obviously going to be askew and shooting. The cannon I've managed to fit between them, so they're going to be shooting, but again obscured because of the units yep. and shooting over the heads. I'm going to just, uh, Let's just say we said that because there's a tiny little gap between them, but we're going to have it. We'll just take the modifier for, for it instead of saying it can't do it. Exactly. Uh, and then the dragoons, because they have Marauder, they didn't suffer any modifiers or anything, and they have occupied this zone. Yep. Um, the looters, they managed to move forward closer to me. And yeah, yeah, they're running away. <laughs> it's from the cavalry. Um. Uh, I tried to move up these three units a bit closer to come and pick a fight. However, they failed their roll. <clears throat> and then the general re-roll also failed on that. So they're not moving. Pike unit can't move because it's disordered. These can't do anything because they're disordered. I can't rally any of the casualties because it's disordered. And I don't want to put the pikes out on their own. So, very, so very basically, on that side. Cromwell moved and this didn't. No. Okay. So, we're into shooting. Where would you like to start? Do you want to... Because obviously these guys can still shoot up here. Yep. Um, or, yeah, where would you like to start? I start think we'll start on my left. Okay, so your musketeer unit down the end. I think they've got uh, two two shooting dice um, and you're disordered. So you're going to be hitting on fives. Nope. Nope. Okay. Uh, Next unit to that unit. Yep. Nope. nope. <laughs> uh, uh, cannon. He's so going to shoot the cavalry. It's only uh, he's going to have to... F I, he's got to be nearest target, doesn't it? It's gonna have to fire at them. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll so, fire at them. So we're still one because it's not within. So eight. You're not within twelve, are you? No. No. Just of okay, so it'd be a six. No. No. Um, right, that's that entire wing. Oh, that's Crawford, rather. Sorry. Uh, so now this is Manchester's. Yep, his commander's shot. I'm going to check whether or not he's within range to shoot at the cavalry. He's got uh, firelocks, so still 18 inches. Yep. So he is within range. Okay. So the firelocks ability is they're short. The, they get the bonus for being at close range at 12, but they're still outside of that. Yep. Um, so he's going to... But um, remember, this stuff here doesn't count as uh, as cover. It's only the actual formed hedgerows. That do so you're going to be three. and you've got a shoot value of three the firelocks yeah. do so Where's you're the commander shot do? Yeah. oh the commander shot so you're going to be hitting on fours one one there um the cavalry single save of four yep <laughs> uh you got your light cannon the light cannon um because it can ignore my cannon because it's yep uh, uh okay well it will try and take a shot at the musketeers over there, if they're within range, 24-inch range. He's out of range. He's no, I think range he, again, there. I think he has to shoot at them anyway, because they're closest. Okay, so we're shooting at the cavalry, yeah? Yeah. Uh, set long range again. So it's a six. Nope. nope. Not like my dice today. No, no, I'm no. liking this. This is this is all right for me. Oh, so these guys are out of range. Yeah. The, the Dragoons. Again, they... they've got fire locks. So they should be able to hit these guys. You've got an eight, it's 18 inches, isn't it? Yep. yep. So they're in range, but they're not within the short range. I'd probably give them a skewered as well. Because obscured. So you're going to be hitting on fives. No. 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 Wow. Okay. Um, and then over here, this could be this could be painful. Okay, so musketeers shooting at that unit there. Two yep. shots. Uh, they're obviously within range. They two shots. Two yeah. Shots. So it's just gonna be two shots minus one for uh, for the uh, the trees and everything. So fives. So fives. No. Nope. And then uh, we're just gonna do the same, same for on the, the next one. one. So fives. Yay! Yay! And disordered. Um, I need a single save of five. Nope, so one casualty and disordered. Uh, so they are within 18. They are within 18. Um, is that a light gun? It is a light gun. Uh, where is it? It's, um, so it's, still it's, over, it's, over it's 12, half. isn't it? Yeah. So um, it's, it's over in 12. Yeah. So it's still double range. So it's definitely on a six because of the... Obs yeah. So a six to hit. No. no. Is that it? 
Is that the end of your turn? Is that it? I no, I just made it. Shot, a dart. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't think you did give it the best shot. It's, I think. Um, it's wet powder. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there we are. Um, that's the end of Parliamentary turn. At least all that disorder comes off now. Mm. So we shall see what, what's going to happen uh, over here. So uh, we will go into the Royalist turn two. Right then, so I'm really, really pleased with my command phase. Not sure Miller is as 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 chuffed. So let's start up here. Hopton is continuing his just amazing rolls. The brigade up here uh, has just rolled into them. Pikes have charged, so the pike blocks are in combat. The two musketeer units have moved up in support and will be unleashing volleys at short range into those musketeers. The cavalry charged home against um, those musketeers there. Now they couldn't go into a hedgehog with these guys because they're from separate battalion. You can only do that if you're in the same battalion. So they, they, to be fair, they did some closing fire and put two casualties onto Carey's unit. Galloper gun is staying there so we can get a shot off against those pikes. In the center, um, the, the sort of the, the King's Guard, what they've done, they've moved up, taken position behind the hedgerow there to be able to pour some fire onto Manchester's troops. Both the heavy cannons at the back haven't moved, but they should be able to put some fire in over there. Over here, Bard's units, well, his, uh, the storming party are doing what they do best, and they are storming off against the Dragoons. So we've got some hand-to-hand -hand combat there. Took one casualty on the way in. Uh, the looters stayed where they were. Uh, the Carey's unit here didn't do very much at all. Whereas on this side, the pike have moved up in support of the musketeers who are in a firing position now against the counterparts on the other side of the hedge. So I think this is going to be some quite brutal close quarter fighting here in the coming turns. So as we're over here, we might as well start here. I'm going to fire with these musketeers at those musketeers that are in front of them. Am I? I'm not within six inches. Um, and because again of the, um, the cover, we're going to say it's minus one. So I've got three dice hitting on fives. Fives. Oh, right, that wasn't great. So these guys are going to shoot. Their disorders are going to be at minus one. Um, they are firing and it's not clear at minus one. So we've got two dice hitting on sixes. No, they're not. Uh, they've got no shooting there. Um, would you mind just checking if this unit are in range? So they've got 18 inch range. They are within range. They are within range. They have first fire. So that's going to be three dice hitting on fours. That's uh, one hit, one save of five for musketeers, isn't it? Hey! Yes. Uh, I assume these guys are also in range then um, against their counterparts. Yep. Okay, so again, three dice hitting on fours. Two hits and they're disordered. Oh. Or one casualty and they're disordered. Okay, so my, my medium cannon is going to fire at... Oh, he's going to go for the Musketeers because he's still got a clear shot on the Musketeers. Uh, but it's still, they haven't moved, have they? So it's just going to be one dice hitting on a six. It's over half range. Come on. No. This heavy cannon is going to fire at the same ones because they can ignore the cannon because it's not a clear target. So I'm going to fire at them as well. Uh, it's going to be the same thing, hitting on a six. Um, so uh, that is going to be a single save of six. You could always save on a six. Oh. Oh! <laughs> No, in the tray. Get in the Damn. tray. So uh, that's another one dead. Um, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. So they've taken two casualties. Is that their... What's their stamina? Three. Oh. The galloper gun is going to shoot at them as well. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got no clear... Tar um, I haven't got a clear target because that's not a clear... Ooh. You could have shot that. I could have shot them. Obscured. And obscured. So I can shoot at either. Because we've been saying that... Because you, with the funnels of fire, that wouldn't be a clear target. Um... It's a light cannon, so it's going to be over half range. So it's going to be hitting on a six. But it's going to be hitting on a. It's going to be hitting those guys. It's basically which one? Do I, um, I might as well just try and put the hit onto them because then they will be shaken. 
No. Um, okay, up here, up on up on the hill, um, we will go. Now, these guys are going to fire. They get two dice now because they expended their first fire. However, they're going to get plus one to hit because they're at short range. So I've got two dice hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. One hit and they're disordered. One save and five. No, so they are now shaken and disordered. And we're going to do the same with that unit over there as well. Also hitting on threes. Oh, no, both missed. Um... Slight reprieve for, for Miller there. Okay, so um, if you had one more unit in excess, you'd need to test, but you don't. So they're shaken. That's that's going to be helpful because they're going to be supporting your um, your unit as well in combat. Um, but we'll come on to that bit. So we'll go and do close combats. Um, we might as well do this one up here first, to be fair. Um, you, Hopton's unit have stubborn and tough fighters. Um, I charged, so I get six dice and I'm hitting on freeze. You have six dice hitting on fours, coming back. Eight hitting on threes, re-rolling one. Thank God. Oh, crap. Three hits. One hit. Uh, I need one save of four, which I can re-roll for stubborn. So saved, and you need three saves of four. Uh, one, casualty. one casualty. Right, so let's work this out. I did one casualty to Miller, and now I have two flank supports, which gives me a combat result bonus of three. Miller has done no casualties to me, casualties to me, and two flank supports, um, which means that he got two, which means he's lost by one. So it's Miller who is taking a break test. Okay, so just checked, and shaken and disordered units can't offer support. So Miller, it was actually three one to me. However. It, He's still lost the combat. So Miller is rolling 2d6 straight. Uh, he doesn't want a 4 or less. Oh, that is... That I think you're going to be going off the board. Um, so a 5 is... Unit retires one full move away from the enemy. If unable to disengage, make another full move away from the enemy. If So, uh, yep, off you go. And you're disordered. Okay, so there we go. My unit is going to stay where it is. I could advance but i don't really want to i'm going to stay there um and um and just see what miller's going to do next turn um so now we'll move on to the combat between the cavalry and the musketeers miller has six dice no he doesn't miller has how many dice three three dice i have eight dice i get plus one to hit so i've got eight dice hitting on freeze could be nasty uh all but one <laughs> so that's seven uh you're hitting on fours None. Uh, so, <laughs> so Miller needs seven saves of five. Let's get the dice out, really. Yep. Go on, I've, I've got a good feeling for you here. I want to see all them chevrons. They're four dead. So four casualties. Right. Uh, and they have a stamina of three. three. So, so, three so, so, so they are shaken. They're one over their limit. So you're taking a break test. You're minus one because you're over your limit. Um, but you're not disordered, so you're just 2d6 minus 1. Uh, they're oh. staying holding their ground. So you're back down to shaken. Okay. So they are, so they're not disordered. You managed to get away with that. So they're shaken, and you've got three casualties. casualties on them yeah. Uh, might need to we borrow some casualties. Some. Two. Uh, one will do. There you go. Thank you. So it was three casualties, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Because all you had to do was put two on me, and I'd have... I mean, obviously now your pikes can come and, like, stab me. Although, to be fair, you're not going to be able to, are you? Because you can't... Because they're facing on the front. You'd have to come in on the side. So I'd have to do yeah, that. Yeah, which they can't, because you, a unit can't fit. So they're probably... The best thing they're going to be able to do is go over and get involved up there. Mm, yeah. Anyway, we'll, we'll cross that problem. Right, and then the next one is my storming party. Okay, so uh, my chaps have grenades as they're going in there. So what that does is that negates his cover save. So I have four dice hitting on freeze for charging. He has three dice hitting on fours fighting back. Okay, so looking for freeze. That's uh, three hits. That's two hits. Um, I have a save of... So I have two saves of four. One save, one dead. Uh, Miller, you need three saves of five. That's two dead. Okay, so um, I've caused two casualties on Miller. He's caused one casualty on me. Um, I am not any kind of support, and um, that's it. Miller, on the other hand, is occupying, because he counts as occupying a building, um, so it's plus one. So it's a draw. 
be interesting. So that is the end of the second Royalist turn. We're actually moving quite quickly. The battle is, is going quite fast. Um, let's go into the parliament. In your favour. In my favour, yeah. Right. Well, this is what happened to me last time. It was, well, my units are actually moving for a change. So we'll go into the second parliamentarian turn. Right, so that's the end of the second parliamentarian orders phase. Uh, Miller, want to chat us through it? Uh, yeah, I fucked my way through it. <laughs> um, we had some successful rolls over here. The musketeers moved up and into the brush here. These musketeers charged into these musketeers. The pikes, I wanted to be able to come out of here so that they could defend against these cavalry. But they've now have only fallen into support, and then there's a cannon just between the trees that's going to. Push. It's like there's a little horseshoe here. Of, there is. Of cro like, and, yeah. I get a feeling this will be all that's left at the end of the battle when you see the rest of it in a minute. Uh, and Cromwell's moved up there. Um, Dragoons are obviously in combat, so they couldn't do anything. Musketeers are moved up with the plan of moving everything up. However, we failed on the command roll here, and then failed with the general roll. So this whole battalion didn't do anything. Yep. These guys obviously looked in combat. <laughs> these, uh, these pikes just were going to move behind here, ready because they're, you know, calculations of defeat. They thought these were going to run, but they blundered and fell back. Uh, that was the last move. Uh, these guys fell back, uh, disorderly retreated. The cannons turned to be able to shoot. And then, obviously, because of this final blunder with the pike block, these guys didn't get to move. A terrible, terrible command phase, if you ask me. I mean, it's, it is quite. Yeah, I mean, it, oh, to be fair, over there, there's, it's um, it's basically locked in combat. The centre is is pushing up towards the parliamentarian positions, and then over here on the right, it's I very in keeping with the commanders that I've taken. You know, Essex, Essex is in command and is failing everything. Manchester just doesn't want to do anything as he did in the period. And Cromwell, Cromwell is pushing forward and doing what he can, and then Crawford's taking all the hits. And Hopton's just been man of the match. Uh, it's, it's exactly it's, that. I mean, you got. I don't know. Was Hopton a particularly aggressive commander? I think Hopton was. Um, Hopton and Waller, obviously, you know. Um, sort of what opponents of each other but friends as well very but, tit for tat between the pair they yeah. both won and lost but Hopton I think ended up being the better of the two commanders at the even though he was on the losing side he was on the losing side he was side. on the well, losing side he was there side, till the but, end of the first of all wasn't well, he yeah you know, so. so anyway let's go into the shooting phase so Miller where do you want to start which uh, battalion do you want to start with I think we'll start on the right again okay start with Cromwell where it's going well Okay, so, oh, yes, because, yeah, we had to charge there, didn't we? So, yes, so, well, who are we going with first? This we'll go with this unit here. Uh, are you in six inches? You might be. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so you're plus one, uh, so you're plus one to hit, two dice, plus one to hit, hit, on freeze. Oh, so two saves of five. Yes. Uh, no, two casualties. Oh, I'm now shaken. I don't know why I've left all these ones who are just sitting on the ground out. Uh, it's the cannon next. Uh, the cannon will pour... Uh, okay, yeah, so it's going to be two shots. No, it's it's two, so it's two shots. So two dice, uh, hitting on fives because it's a cannon. No, but Not it didn't like miss. That, but... These guys are in hand to hand. They're in hand to hand. So we're just moving down the line, aren't we? Okay, uh, these musketeers are going to shoot into the pike. They Ooh. have got first fire. Okay, so you are going to be getting three dice hitting on fours. Oh, okay, I need two saves of four. Um, and do my pikes as standard have stubborn? They absolutely do. <laughs> yep, saved. Okay, um, they, that unit of musketeers should be in range of my musketeers. It's just they're going to be suffering minus one for the disorder. Yep. Okay, so they're going to be hitting on fives. But they do have first fives. They do, so they? three dice hitting on fives. No. No, and now they've lost first fire. Um, the cannon. Um, they will take a shot at... The musketeers then. Okay, so it's a light cannon. Not so within twelve, so it's just one dice hitting on a six because it's over half range. Oh. Nope. That's combat. This Up on here, so that cannon. Now you're within six inches of those musketeers. Uh, on yeah. Hand, yeah. Yep. Okay, so three you're going to get three dice, and you're going to be hitting on 
fours, because it's fives normally, plus one for being close range. Close range, yeah. Two ones. Oh, that's... Treble two. Come on, that's got to be something bad. Uh, yeah, it was a miss. So, to be fair, yeah, that was... Um, who are those casualties? Are they your casualties? Though? They are mine, yeah. The own, your, they can, can fire. They can fire, they're just minus one. It's not cumulative for um, disorder and shaking, so you're just hitting on fives. No. no. And then these guys are within close range. So they're hitting on threes. Yay! Two saves of five. One casualty. Three casualties along the whole line, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So, it's time for some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Where do you want to start? Should we go back down this We'll go way? Back, down, back down the line, yeah. All right, so, that's not just because I want to do my unit <laughs> it first. Uh, so I get eight dice hitting on threes because I won the last round. You get three, three dice hitting on fives because you're shaken. Uh, over to you, because you're one. one. Um, hitting on threes. Oh. Five. Um, I need one save of four. No, I took a casualty. You need... Five saves of five, I believe. Five, five. saves of five, yeah. Four, four. Oh, but the Shaken, so is that a... No, no. Four, is it... Four? No, it's five there, the Musketeers, aren't they? Uh, no, they're Commander's shots. Oh, so I fours. think we might have done that wrong then, because last time I think we said there were fives. But anyway, um, so, yeah, so that many saves of four. Five saves of four. Uh, three more casualties. Three more casualties. So, um, I, I have won the combat. Although, to be fair, you've put a casualty on me. Um, I am now... Shaken because I've taken three casualties. Um, I just don't have another casualty model to put down. I'm hoping that I'm going to get one back in a second. No. Nope. Um, so I've uh, you've gone three over. So you're two d six minus three for your test. Uh, that six minus three is three. They've broken and gone. However, because my unit's shaken, I will not be doing any uh, any pursuit. Okay, so where are we moving to next? Uh, the... I think we'll obviously do the combat inside the village. Okay, so that's my storming party against your dragoons. That's a proper fight, isn't it? They're dead people who are meant to be fine. Um, so I've got four dice and I'm hitting on freeze because I won the last round of combat. You have three dice um, hitting on fours. Oh, three hits. Only four dice hitting on threes. Three oh, yeah. hits as well. Now Miller doesn't get the bonus for being in cover because the grenades get rid of that. So you need three saves of four. Is it four for dragoons? Five. Five. Okay. So, so two so far. So you just got to roll that one. No. So, two, more so two casualties, and I need three saves of three saves of four for a storming party. Uh, so one casualty. Okay, so I've taken enough casualties to uh, to shake me, as has Miller, um, and I have a combat result of two, because I did two casualties on him. He has a combat result of two, because he did one casualty, and he's plus one for defending that area. Um, we decided this area was plus one, and it's like different levels of plus one, plus two, plus three, so this was plus one. Um, so that's a draw, but as we were both shaken, we both need to test. So I'm rolling 2d6 straight, Miller's getting 2d6 minus one, because he's got one casualty in excess. Oh, I'm on a six, so I believe I'm going to be retiring. Miller, do you want to roll? And then we'll... And you're, I don't think you're going anywhere. <laughs> okay, so my guys are retiring one full move backwards, and I think they become disordered at the end of it as well on a six. Yep, they're disordered, so they're going to go six inches straight back. And Miller still holds the little uh, sort of farmstead. Get out of here. Right, where to next? Over, it's just this one, isn't just it? Hand -hand combat thing, okay, the musk fight between musketeers who are both supported by pikes. So, uh, what's the musketeers' hand-to-hand -hand value? Okay, so, um, but I am going to—I am obviously defending the obstacle, like you were over there. So I'll get plus one. So you are um, your three dice hitting on threes. I'm three dice hitting on fours. Three. Yep. Two, and I'm looking for fours. Uh, one. Uh, I need two saves of uh, four because of the bush. Uh, so one casualty, and you need one save of five. No, so one casualty apiece. We're both supported to the rear. That's another draw. <laughs> okay, so Miller, what do you reckon? Considering we're just approaching the halfway point. Uh, I feel I am not putting any damage in. I um, just don't seem to be scratching you. Your stubborn rerolls seem to be um, putting a little bit more, that little bit more on, uh, rerolling a lot of stuff. I mean, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm winning over there, but I'm. It's going the best. Doing better than the, obviously the other end. This side, I've, oh, 
Sentinel is still up for grabs. I'm not doing my, my cavalry is now free up, freed up, but it's gotten it's shaken, so it can't charge yet yeah. unless I get Hopton in there to remove one, which might be a possibility. Um, right then, let's go into the next royalist turn. Right, okay, so here we are. Here is the um, sort of overview following my command turn. So here we are up here. Hopton has taken a load of initiative orders and charged. Um, these guys took some casualties on the way in, but they are fine. So musketeers on musketeers here. Here the pikemen have charged into those pikemen. Um, hopefully I'm going to see them off. And these musketeers moved up to do some short-range fire. Decided not to do a lot with the... Um, Horses, just they've done their job. I just want to still be able to get some cannon fire into there. Um, in the middle here, Kingsguard, they've moved up and uh, we're ready to um, basically see if they can get into combat next turn or if I can draw Miller down from the ridge. Over here, I tried to attack the Dragoons with my cavalry, but I didn't quite get that order off. So we're prepping to see what's going to happen next turn. And over here, I haven't moved anybody. So we're just into a shooting. So we might as well start over here, seeing as we're over here. My shaken unit will fire at your unit in the cover. Um, I'm minus one to hit because I'm shaken, but I'm plus one because I'm at six inches. Um, but you're obscured as well, so I'm hitting on fives. Ooh, two misses. Do your muskets go bang? They should do. My storming party is going to fire at your chaps in the cover there. Now I'm shaken and disordered. You are counting in cover, so I'm hitting on sixes, basically. So twos. No, not twos. I needed sixes. I had two dice, but I missed anyway. This unit here, now they're within six inches, so I'm going to get two dice hitting on threes. Uh, just the one, so one save of five for, your, for those musketeers. Yep. Ah, oh, well done. Bringing it back. These musketeers are going to fire at the ones directly in front of them. Uh, it's going to be hitting on fours. One hit, one save of five. Nah, one maybe. more casualty. Right, so then I'll shake so My cannons are a bit out, but my galloper gun is going to shoot at that same musketeer unit. So I'm going to get one dice, and it's going to be hitting on a six. I should have moved my galloper gun, really, and filled that gap. Hitting on a six. No. <laughs> uh, up on the hill, the uh, musketeers here are going to fire into your musketeers. They can ignore the cannon because it doesn't present a clear target, um, like all cannons. So I'm going to get two dice hitting on a threes because it's at uh, six inch range. Uh, one hit. You need a single save of five. Nope. No, one casualty, and that will be enough to make them take a break test, I yep. think. Uh, does your cavalry have pistols? Yes, they do. What's the range on a pistol? Pistol, I think, is like nine or something. Pistols is six inches. Six inches. Six. You measure from the middle of the unit. Um, so if yeah, if they're in if they're in range from the middle of the unit to your cannon. To the base. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll give them that. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. So one. they have a shooting value of one. Um, I'm shooting at someone that's not a clear target, um, but I'm within six inches, so that would be plus one. So it's hitting on a four. No. <laughs> that's all right. Okay, so that's the end of the shooting phase. So all that Miller needs to do is to take a break test for those musketeers. Um, it's 2d6 minus 1 because he's 1 over his uh, stamina limit. They're not disordered though, so... Uh, mm. 6, that's a 5. I think they're going to be retiring off the board, which will mean they count as destroyed. One full move away from the enemy. Okay, so let's now do the combat. So we'll do the musketeers first. My musketeer, my musketeers on your musketeers. So um, I get three dice and you get three dice, I assume. Yep. So I'm hitting on threes and you're hitting on fours. Uh, one hit for me. No, no hits for you. You need a single save of five. No, so one casualty for the musketeers. Okay, so... It, you've lost the combat by one, but you're not any, haven't got any excess cash, have you? So it's just going to be 2d6 straight. Yeah, they're fine. They stay where they are. Okay, let's uh, let's sort out um, the pipe. Okay, so uh, Miller is going to get six dice. Um, I'm going to get six dice. I'm hitting on freeze because I charge. I have tough fighter, so I can re-roll one. So I have four hits. You have one. I need one save of four. 
I have stubborn, so I can re-roll that. Saved, you need four saves of four. So three casualties. Okay, so I did four casual no, three, three. casual three casualties. Um, plus I'm supported to my flank uh, just by these guys here. So I got a result of four. You did none and have no supports. So you've lost a combat. How many casualties have you got in excess? Just one? None. Uh, I'm, I'm at equal. Oh uh, yeah. I didn't realize that Pikeman had four. Wow, okay, so you're just 2d6 straight. So they're staying where they are. So this was a draw last turn. So we both get three dice and we're both hitting on fours. That's it. Two for me. Two for Miller. I'm saving on threes. Saved, Miller's saving on fours. One. Um, so one casualty for Miller. Okay, so I cause one casualty and I'm supported to my rear. Miller is supported to his rear and has no casualties. So I've won by one. So you're taking a break test with no... Um, no excess. Excess. They're staying where they are. <laughs> right, well, there we go. That is it just grinding on. So over here is a bit of a bloodbath. You're, you're holding up there. So there's a chance you can you could be pushing, pushing back. But at the moment... The right looks like the Royalists have it. Centre's up for grabs, and um, we'll see where we go. So let's go into the next Parliamentarian turn. Okay, Miller, want to chat us through it? Okay, um, not much I could do over here. As these guys are shaking and I don't want to do anything with them in combat. Same with them. They're gone. The cannon's going to stay there, pump some shots into the musketeers there. The pike block managed to charge the cavalry, which as a result have evaded. They make one full move away. So then they are now protecting the cannon and hopefully anything that will come from the left. The cannons move down the hill just a little bit to get that close range fire. Uh, Manchester's joined his pikes just to do a rally on them. The pikemen have charged the large unit of pikes, which are very, very scary. <laughs> Musketeers have done the same into the musket yeah, block. No closing fire casualties, which was a bit annoying. Fantastic on my behalf. Um, dragoons obviously stand where they are. Now you might notice a big blank spot where a pike unit used to be. They tried to move in here to defend against the chance of cavalry, but they blundered and ran off the table. They ran, but because they went off as, and they're not disordered or shaken, they can potentially come back. Which I hope to God they do. Uh, and obviously everything else has stayed in here. Cannon and muskets are gonna take some shots at the musketeers and this combat will carry on. <coughs> right, where would you like to start with the shooting then? Uh, I think we'll start this one. Yep, yeah, okay. So, um, let's see. Uh, the unit over here. Yep. So, you're going to get two dice hitting on freeze. Yep. yep, two hits. I need two saves of five. I need to get these. One, so I have taken, I'm one in excess, so I will be taking a break test with that unit. And it's a cannon. Okay, so was that within six again? I can't remember. Uh, no, he's just out. So, okay. he's so got. Still two shots. Yep, yeah, two shots hitting on fives. Yes! Oh, and disordered. <laughs> I need a single save of six. Damn. Yes. But, um, oh no, because the casualty, what? I didn't take any casualty, so it's still going to be minus two so far to my, um, not my save, sorry, my morale test. Uh, Dragoons are still going to be shooting at, at the, them. Uh, three so shots. hitting on fives because you're shaken. Nope. Uh, nothing, nothing. These guys are shooting down here. Uh, okay. okay, so they're going to be firing. It's just going to be hitting on fours because you're no longer shaken. Nope. Okay, the cannon is within six, so it's firing three shots, all hitting on five. Wow. Okay, I need three saves of six. Let's see if we can uh, get something similar here. It's disordered as well. And I'm dis yeah, I'm disordered just many times over. Uh, no, so I am I am sh shaken. Three Incredibly cannon. shaken. Wow. So shooting, it's your cannon there, so it's going to do the same. Three, three shots hitting, but this one's going to be hitting on five. It's because it always fi it's five, but then it's plus one, isn't it? So it's four. So it's actually four. So but that didn't matter. So last time you rolled, four. yeah, but you're three sixes. Yeah. <laughs> two, two, two saves. 
Uh, nope, two casualties. That's all you're shooting. Um, I need to take a break test. Over here, for these guys, I'm disordered and I'm one in excess, so I'm minus two. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, so we're on to close combat. Where do you want to start? We'll start over here in the woods. Okay, so I won that last round, so I'm on plus one. You are uh, not. So I've got three dice hitting on threes. You've got three dice hitting on fours. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Two saves of three because I'm defending the cover. Two saves. Two saves of five because you're not. No, nope. two casualties, so I'm two. shaken. Okay, and you're one over, aren't you? So you're one over. Uh, cannon can't support, can it? No. Nope. So, um, and I'm supported to the rear. So you lost combat, you're one in excess, so you're 2d6 minus one. Uh, seven, I think you're going to be okay. Let's just check. Um, do, do, do. You hold your ground. So that's going to grind on. Uh, wait, which one do you do? You're doing musketeers or musketeers? Yes. Okay, so they're both standard units of musketeers. So you're hitting on threes because you charged. Two hits. Two hits. I'm hitting on fours. One hit. I need two say. Uh, you need one save of five. Yep. Yep. No. I need two saves of five, but I do have stubborn. Yep. So one. One and one. Yep. So you caused one. I caused one. There's no support. It's an uh, out and out draw. Okay. And now we come on to the. Uh, the chunky one. So, uh, you're going to get six dice hitting on threes. My large unit has eight dice hitting on fours. Um, but my unit is, is also valiant and elite and should hopefully stand its ground. Ooh, all but one. All but one. So, five. I'm hitting on fours. Oh. Wow, that is so bad. Oh. Wow. Wow. One. Um, I need four. How many was it? Four. Five. I need five saves of four. Rerolling one. What? Yes. That's that's, that's bullying. <coughs> you need one save of four. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> that is ridiculous. How? Oh, oh me. My shaken unit can't support. You caused one. Um, no, you didn't, you didn't cause any, did you? <laughs> I caused one. <laughs> so you've, <laughs> lost, you've lost that combat. Wow. Um, so you, you're testing straight up 2D, 2d6. Oh, thank God for that. I was really... I got really... I was, if they were going to go, I thought you might pick up the whole table. <laughs> we'll just flip it. Just uh, so that's a seven. So they just, you, thank, thank God you, you hold your ground. That was ridiculous. <laughs> right, so we're going to leave that combat. Um, and so we're just over... Um, which one do you do first, the pikes? We'll go for the pike. Why don't we go the musketeers, actually? Yeah, so you're going to get um, three dice hitting on... Four. Who won the last round? Oh, nice one. Three hits. I'm hitting on threes. Um, I'm not tough fighters. That's the pike block. That's yep. tough fighters. So one hit. Oh. oh, so you need one save. Done. Yep. I need two saves. Um, I am stubborn. Done. So it's an out and out draw again. So now we move on to the pikes. Now I've got six attacks and I'm hitting on threes. Miller has six attacks, but he's also shaken, so he's hitting on fives. Oh, nice one, four. Um, I am hitting on threes. I've also got tough fighter. That's all of them. So I, uh, you need six saves of four. Two. Okay, so two casualties. Uh, I need four saves of four. Rerolling one for stubborn. So one casualty. Okay, so uh, Miller, you are free over your. I did well. I did. I think I've won the combat. Yes. Okay, so uh, you're free over your stamina limit. You're not disordered, though, so you're going to be 2d6 minus three. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that unit has now, now broken. So that's uh, Crawford's uh, Pike, and I think that Battalia is now broken. In its entirety. Uh, is it over half of the unit uh, of that battalion? Yeah, we had one. We had four. Yeah, because it's I've five. Had two, so it's I've had two going. You've had two, what, including? Oh, three, including that. What's gone? Uh, hang on. Uh, one, two, three, four. Sorry, it's not broken. He's got. There's what? There's one left. We're just losing so many dead on the board. So the pikes have gone. Um, I am just going to as a victorious unit. I think I can. Can I? Can I reform? I am going to. So it'll be basically. 
where he is. So I've chosen to just fall back slightly, so I've got a few options. Um, and that is the end of the parliamentarian turn. Are you, uh, are you satisfied with the F? I mean, Am I satisfied? I, I, I lost <laughs> one unit that I thought I would lose, but that is just, that's... We're going into the, parliament, the, the parliamentarian turn, the royalist turn. Let's see if, um, let's see what happens. Yeah, let's... Okay, so not a great deal of movement because everything is in combat. So let's start over here. Um, over here, my pikes executed a lot of moves and charged into that unit of uh, musketeers who managed to kill nothing or do nothing with their closing fire. This is carrying on. Over here, Bard joined the storming party and removed a casualty, taking them uh, back down from Shaken. Over here, Carey's unit charged through, became disordered on the way in, but has charged home against Dragoons um, to try and just do some damage there. Um, this combat is just carrying on. Astley joined these Musketeers and removed their um, Shaken. Although I just realised he can't, actually, because they were disordered. So I'll sort that out in a minute. So he couldn't have done that. So they're still Shaken. This unit have um, fallen back to kind of give some corridors of fire to the cannon and to the galloper gun. And then over here, um, Hopton's pikemen have reorientated to charge the, well not charge, but to deal with these. I feel a bit of a threat from them. Um, the uh, musketeers have moved to face the cannon and that combat's going to roll on. I just need to beat one more unit over there to uh, for that uh, battalion to become broken. So I'm hoping that cannon's going to do it. Um, so we will go with the shooting first. Okay, where is actually any really shooting? Uh... <laughs> that unit, this unit, has to be there. So they will fight, they're going to ignore the cannon. And they're going to fire at that unit because Manchester's actually in there. Um, and um, But they are uh, disordered, so I'm hitting on fives. Oh, so you're disordered and you've taken uh, two hits. Should that not have been two dice? Yeah, you're right, that should have been two dice. Hey! They're still disordered and two hits. Two saves of five. That's two casualties, and I think we have to see if he was one of them. And I'm shaken now as well. And you're one over your stamina limit. Yep. Okay, so as per the rules, he's won over his uh, stamina value, so that is the chance that the commander is has been killed, um, and that casualty will be removed. So on a six, it was Manchester. Shall I roll or shall you? Yeah, roll? go for it. Oh! <laughs> this is my game. This is, this my is your game. game. For everyone who's thinking about the epic pike and shot, <laughs> this is in, uh, the Earl of Manchester taken out by a stray musket ball. However, the um, one casualty comes off of them, and uh, they don't have to take a break test now. So his he's dead. Command value drops down to. One, yeah, but can we it? take him off? Can, can we just take him off for a second, please? Can we just come on? Come on, give me that. <laughs> right. So the Earl of Manchester has fallen. Miller's gone for a little sit down, and um, you actually replace. Oh, he's bringing in. A and there we go. There's a, a different. A different commander has taken his place. His command value drops by one to seven. Yeah, he can go within six inches of any unit in the same division. So there you go. So he can go within six inches of where he was. Or he could rejoin that unit. And when I shoot at them with my galloper gun, he could get taken out as well. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. Okay. So the Earl of Manchester so has they, fallen. They, need to... they don't take the break test. He basically, you replace one of the casualties. Okay, so, and this is something that's a little bit, again, different from Hail Caesar and from Black Powder. So, that's done. Um, shooting over here. Um, my cannon at the back is going to fire at that pike block. It's going to be one dice, and it's going to be hitting on a six. No. Same with a galloper gun. Going to be hitting on a six. Nope. And uh, Miller's just kindly pointed out that this one can also now fire at that. So, that'll be hitting on a six as well. There we go. There's a Why hit. Why did so, I give you that? So they're, they're disordered. <laughs> the single save of six. No. No, it's a casualty and they're disordered. Up on the hill, these musketeers are going to fire at that artillery. It's minus one because it's a deploy deployed artillery, but it's plus one because it's within six inches. So I've got two dice hitting on fours. Both missed. 
that's not going to be good when I get that in the face. So I have to force something off the board. I have to beat those guys up there. Um, let's start with a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Let's start up here. You haven't got any more break tests to take. So let's start up here. I'm over here. I won the last round. So I get three dice hitting on threes. You have three dice hitting on fours. That's uh, one hit. Two. two hits. I have two saves of five. Stubborn. No. So two casualties. And then you need one save of five. Yes. I've done it. So I've taken two casualties. I have lost the combat. So I've lost the combat by two. Um, I am one over my stamina limit. So I'm 2d6 minus one. They're staying where they are. Okay, so it's time to do the big combat. So um, I won the last round of combat when I probably shouldn't have done. So I've got eight dice hitting on threes and Miller has six dice hitting on fours. Come on, threes. Still not great. That's four. Uh, you're hitting on fours. Uh, three. three. Okay, so I need three saves of four, re-rolling one. Uh, didn't need to. That's all saved. You need four saves of four. At two. two. Okay, so you've taken two casualties. So I've put two K. I've won the combat by two. Miller's got to take a break test, but um, as he's not got any excess casualties, he's just taken it as standard. You've got to remember, haven't we, that, that that's good in the break test. That's a good thing. Okay, so that'll go on into the next turn. Um, my unit is um, is winning, so they'll get the plus one bonus. Let's move on to the Musketeers. Now, that was an out-and-out -out draw last time, wasn't it? It was yep. just one each, there was, so there's no winners. Three dice each, both hitting on fours. I got none. It's your time to shine. Yeah. You got three. I need three saves of five. Oh, something's dead. And I get to reroll one. Hey, so uh, they are just shaken. So no excess casualties, but I lost the combat. So 2d6 straight. Six, they are going to be retiring. I don't know how I'm holding out against that unit. I don't know. When that, when that flank is just sort of like... So anyway, let's see. So over here, my cavalry, eight attacks. They're disordered, so I don't get the plus one. So I am hitting on fours. You have... Three attacks and you are hitting on fives. Uh, two. That's good. Two. Two as well. I need two saves of four. Done. You need two saves of three. Yes. Yes. So that was pointless. Okay. No, so, uh, no, you win the combat because you're defending. Okay, um, so, you not, okay, um, so you won by one. So I have to take a break test. Go on. Get Units out of disordered. Uh, that is a six. So they are going to be retiring. One move. Okay, so they've now retired uh, back there. He's still in with the uh, with that unit. Um, let's do these musketeers. So you're shaken. So you've got three dice hitting on fives. I've got three dice hitting on threes because I won the combat. One. Two. I need two saves of three because I'm still the one defending. One casualty. You need one save of five. One casualty. So we both took one casualty. Uh, um, you are one in excess, so you are 2d6 minus one. Come on. Seven. Seven, they're still holding their ground. And now it's the fresh combat here with my pikes. So six uh, attacks going in, hitting on threes. You have three attacks hitting on fours. Uh, all but one. So five hits. Two hits. Two saves of four. And stubborn means I've taken one casualty. You need five saves of five. No, uh, four, because you're behind the... So, uh, two casualties. So, two casualties. So, you've lost the combat. You haven't taken any casualties yet, have you? Nope, so they're not shaken. So, they're not shaken. Um, so, it's just 2d6 uh, straight. No! But, oh, oh, no! <laughs> okay, so they've gone, but you know what I'm going to be doing, don't you? So, um, you can... Um, 
But you can't fit in there, can you? Because I, I, I couldn't. I can't fit in there. But I think have I have I broken the battalion now? No, because you've got one, two, I've got three. one, two. No, I am actually going to stay three. there. That's all I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to stay there. It's all up for grabs. Okay, What's so there What's there we go. There uh it is turn four. Um, so it's your turn four. So there we go. That is the end of the royalist turn. Um, quite a lot of stuff happened. Um, but not all of it great. So with this combat. I'm a bit worried about this flank now, so let's go into the Parliamentarian turn. Okay, okay so that was the end of the Parliamentarian command phase, Miller. Yeah, uh, there wasn't a lot I could do. A lot of my units are shaken. Uh, so starting on the left-hand side, obviously the musketeers can't do anything. Cannon stayed where it is to pump a load of shots into the musketeers. Uh, Crawford's moved round, so he's a bit closer to these units that are likely to survive. Again, these couldn't move because they're disordered. Uh, the cannon and the uh, musketeers are all going to stay. These guys are in combat. Uh, Manchester's replacement is just holding a position behind the units. <laughs> Who can that be? Uh, Sunderland. But well, he's meant we? to be Fairfax. Is so that meant to be Fairfax? It's supposed to be Fairfax. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I didn't realise it was actually a... There we go. So Fairfax is there. Everybody's here. All right. Uh, Dragoons are staying where they are. Cromwell's repositioned himself and the pikemen that ran off decided they'd come That's back. the only thing that actually moved, wasn't it? They came back. They're the only thing that moved, yeah. Okay. So where should we start with the shooting then? I think we will start... Here, as we're here. As we're here. Now, would it be that cannon that's got his? I think at it's my got its, its eyes on that. So it's going to be three dice hitting on fours. Okay, go for it. Two ones. One hit. One save six. Got stubborn. Oh, oh it doesn't need it. God. Uh, over here, you've got so, your dragoons. Yep, the dragoons are going to shoot. So three shots into the uh, into fire, locks. fire locks. So you're at minus one. So you're hitting on fives. No. no. Okay. Uh, you've got these musketeers here. Are they going to shoot then? Because if you can put one casualty on these, yep, then gonna they're and, uh, they're going to test. So you're going to be you're just hitting on fours. There's no no problems. One hit. One hit. One save. Come five. On. <sighs> you have no idea how much I want. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. All right. Okay. Uh, musketeers shooting into them again. Okay. Hitting Minus on one. Yep. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay, man. cannon. Cannon. Has a boost. It's got three. It's shots. got three shots hitting, hitting on fours. fours this time. Yes. Disorder and they're disordered and, two hits. and uh, well, three hits. Three hits. Sorry, three yes. hits. Three saves. Uh, nope. So that's three casualties. Um, so I'm going to be taking a break test uh, at the end. Is anything else going to be shooting at that realistically? That. So shall I just shall I just take yep, the break test? Um, so it's going to be two d six minus three. Uh, is it fourth because of the disorder? Yes. So six, so they're going to be retiring. Okay. Um, and then just the three shots. Just the three shots. Yeah. Oh, you get a lot of. Actually, you, you're doing. If you just is this, is this because you've been reading about the Swedes? You're doing all these stuff with your light cannons. You just, just get them in there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So you're hitting on fours. Uh, two it's hits. Two hits. Uh, and I've got stubborn. Do my musketeers have stubborn? I don't think they do. I think it was the. They don't. Of course they do. Yeah, they do. So did you re-roll? Oh, re just one. Just, just one. one. Ah, so one casualty. Okay, so where should we start with the melee? I think we'll start back on this end. This is where okay, we so you won the last round this time. So you're rolling, hitting on threes. I'm hitting on fives because I'm shaken. Two hits. Uh, one hit. You, you, I need, you need one save of five. Yep. Well done. I need two saves of five. Oh. Oh, okay, so... Um, that's just going to roll on. Oh no, because it was a draw and I'm shaken. I need to take a break test. And I'm fine. Yeah. Big just one. a big one. Now I won that last time, didn't I? Yep. So I'm going to get eight dice hitting on freeze. You're going to have six dice hitting on fours because you're not shaken yet. And you've got one unit in support. I've got one. No, neither of my units can support because they're shaken. Hitting on freeze. Got tough fighter. No, I don't have tough fighters actually. Four hits. Hitting on fours? Yep. Uh, three. Three hits. Okay, so I need three saves of four. I've got stubborn. Of course. There we go. And you need four saves of four. Oh, two. two. So now, 
Okay, so you're one in excess. Before we put it down, so um, I've done two. Uh, you did none. You've got one in support. I've won by one, so you're a break test. You're one over, so 2d6 minus one. Oh, oh they're staying. Nine. So your guys are now shaken. So you've got four casualties and you're shaken. Uh, it's just the musketeers then, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. So I won the last round, didn't I? Uh, yes, I did. Because you're shaken, um, and everything, but you passed, didn't you? Yes. So you're you've got three dice hitting on fives. I've got three dice hitting on threes. Uh, one hit. One hit. One hit. One save of three. Yep, yeah. or four even. Sorry, uh, and then you need one save of five. Uh, so I done. Four because of the wall as well. Actually, wasn't it? For me. Oh, you're defending. Yeah, yeah okay, I'm defending. That's fine. Um, but so that's a draw. But you're shaken, so you're taking a break test just straight up. Six, Six. is their retire, so they're going to go back one move and they're disordered. Okay, so that's the end of the parliamentarian turn. It's not over yet. It's um, there's a lot of shaken units on the on the battlefield. Um, I think it's all going to come down to the crunch in here. I'm going to have to try and do something here. Um, should we get on with the next turn? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, and the same thing just happened again um, with the uh, with the camera. So just got to try to be better than that. It's because we're this way round, so uh, I'm all out of sync. Um, all that happened was over here, uh, Bard's unit has charged into that cannon. They took one casualty on closing fire. Over here, the storming party have re-attacked the dragoons. Didn't take any casualties coming in, and the cavalry unit have moved in to support them. Everywhere else, oh, Astley joined this unit and rallied them. Um, up on the hill, it didn't go quite so well. Hopton uh, joined the Musketeers to try and rally them. Failed, um, but the Pikes moved up to take position by the road. So I'm trying to banking on still being able to beat that unit or hold them up. So let's do some shooting. We'll start up here. The Musketeers are going to shoot at the cannon. They're within six inches. Um, they're minus one for being shaken, and they're minus one for shooting at deployed artilleries. They're hitting on fives. Fives, come on. One hit. Uh, what is the save on a cannon? Light artillery, where I'll say five. Come on, five. Yes. Unbelievable. That's not good. That is really not good. That's really bad, in fact. Um, okay, so next, the Galloper gun is going to fire at that unit of pikes, and it's hitting on a six. It's all going to go down now. Nope. Uh, this cannon is going to fire at those pikes, and so is the other cannon. So two, two loads of sixes. Nope. No. They're probably out of range now. The muskets okay. are going to fire at... 18. Just in range, so you can obviously go... So they're going to fire at those muskets because they can ignore the cannon. So I'm hitting um, a minus one because I'm shaken. Um, so that's minus one, so fives. Uh, one hit and they're disordered, one save five. Nope, and they are disordered. Uh, so they'll be doing a break test at the end of the turn. Uh, these guys here, they're no longer disordered. Um, so they're firing at those musketeers, so they are hitting on fours. One hit and they're disordered. Two dice. Oh, two dice again. Keep doing it. Right. One hit, one save of five. No, one casualty. Uh, just here, these guys are going to fire at those musketeers, so it's two dice, and uh, they're outside of six inches, so it'll be hitting on fours. No, I believe that's all the shooting done. So let's do uh, the combat. I'm going to get six dice hitting on threes here. Um, I think you got one? One dice. And you're going to be hitting on fours. Which one's a good one? Come on. Uh, all but one. What am I hitting on? Uh, four. Yes! One save of four. <laughs> Done. You need five saves of five. Come on. Wish me luck, guys. <gasps> I'll give it to you. It nearly went well. So um, two. So two, uh, which you, you're going to have to take the break test, but I'm pretty sure... Stamina of two. But with, because uh, you failed it, um, with artillery... You need a seven or more, or are you going to break and it's destroyed? How do I roll a seven? Oh, right. Two, so two, we, how do you roll oh, a seven? You roll oh, two so I've only got six sides. Sorry. <laughs> so 2d6. It's got stamina of two. No! no that's it. The cannon breaks. And um, what the pikes are going to do, they're not, they are just going to advance and take that. They're not, they can't contact a new enemy, but they can push into that position. Okay, well maybe this is going to be it now. So, we'll do the hand-to-hand -hand combat here. So it's the storming party with their three dice. 
They are hitting on freeze because they have charged and you're not getting your morale save because of the bonus because of the grenades. So you get three dice. Hey, well, they got this many dice. So you get four dice and you're hit. No, you get three dice hitting on fives because you're shaken. Right, hit on freeze. Okay, so that is three hits. You are hitting on fives. One. I need one save of four. No, so I've taken one casualty. You need three saves of... Uh, five. Okay, three saves of five. Two. Two, so, so you casualty. took one casualty. Right, let's work this out. Okay, so we did one casualty a piece. That's enough to make me shaken. I've got a unit in support, that's two. And you are in that area, so that is two. So it is a draw and we are both shaken, so we both need to take break tests. You are one in excess. Yep. So you're rolling 2d6 minus one, and I'm just rolling 2d6 straight. Minus one. <sighs> Still I'm there. Good. I'm, I'm, my guys are going to break, I know it. I'm good as oh. well, so it carries on. That is just ridiculous. There's just dead everywhere over there. Everything, the building, we should set the buildings on fire. Let's put everything in there. In fact, I'll, I'll add some smoke. It does a bit like Rourke's Drift going it on. Do, it does, doesn't it? Um, next combat, the big one. Let's do this. Miller, you have six dice hitting on fives because you are shaken. I have eight dice hitting on threes because I won the last round of combat. Come on. Oh. And I have six hits. You're hitting on fives. Four hits. Four saves of four, and one for stubborn. So two dead. You need six saves of four. Four dead. Wow. Okay, Minus so five. you are, let's just work it out. So you're four in excess. I've taken two. Yep. I've right. actually hurt you. It's the first hits on him. It is as well, isn't it? But they've got a stamina of five, haven't they? Very much. So yes, you are taking 2d6 minus four on your test. Can you do it? Give me some of that luck. Oh. Seven minus four is three. They finally break. So we don't So we don't normally, in all the games, in the Pike and Shot games and Black Powder and Hail Caesar, we don't normally play with the broken battalion rules, but because we're playing on the bigger board, it makes a little more sense. So that's gone. There's a bit of a hole in the middle now. So I've just reformed slightly, just pulling back just a little bit. Um, and next, we just go on to the final hand-to-hand -hand combat, which is the one on the hill. So Miller, uh, you won the last round of combat, so you're hit, you got three dice hitting on threes. I have three dice hitting on fives. One hit. Three hits. <laughs> three saves of five. Stubborn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pretty sure you need one save of five. So Miller's lost to combat by one, so he is testing just 2d6 straight. Oh. Five. So that they are retiring. For, it was just one off the uh, the break. Uh, you are... The unit retires one full move away from the enemy, and you become disordered. Okay, so that is the end of the, uh, the royalist turn. We're going to go into the parliamentarian turn. Um, it's interesting. I still don't actually quite know what's going to happen, so let's uh, let's just get on with it. All right then, Miller, talk us through your plans. Okay, uh, unfortunately over here, I tried to park, pa, 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 pa. I had tried to charge the pikes, but they only yep. got one move. Uh, musketeers are just gonna stay where they are so they can put some shots into the pikes so they can't charge. Well, they will charge, but uh, reduce. These guys can't do anything. No, this is just rolling on. They're gonna stay and put some shots in. They can't move, so they're gonna put some shots in. They're gonna put some shots in. The I pikes know. have turned a charge. Yeah, we've got a here. fresh combat up here. And Crawford has joined the combat so that he has his... Uh, so he can have his moment of glory. Have his moment. The cannon's obviously not He's going to He's going to put some lead into the... Yeah, that's an interesting one. And then these two are just... What are they doing? They're just going to shoot each other. All right. Where do you want to start? Shooting. We'll start at this end. Okay, so you're shooting at me. So you're plus one, minus one. So you've got two dice hitting or fours. Two hits. I need two saves or five. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Uh, the cannon. Three shots. Hitting on fours. fours. 
One. One. One save of five. Six, even. It's like that, is it? It's like that, Apparently, is it? they just catch like the hail. The hail shot just goes in between them all. Um, this cannon? Uh, he's within 12, so he gets his two shots, but he's still hitting on five. Yep, double one. So one hit, one, uh, one save of six. No. Stubborn. <sighs> Were the royalists is stubborn? I'm just wondering. Ask him for a friend. Uh, it's as stubborn as the king was. You see, I think that's exactly what it is. They're just. I mean, they were, yeah, he was pretty stubborn. I mean, I mean, even, even his head, even his head disagreed. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, these musketeers. It uh, has to be the pikes because they're closest. Okay, we'll go for the pikes then. Uh, so you're hitting on fives because you are disordered. Yep. Two hits, two saves of four. One stubborn. No, two casualties. There you go, you're shaking me. No, no you haven't, because they're a large, a large unit. unit. So they're going to shoot, so oh, you're yes. hitting on threes. Oh, yes. Uh. One save of four. Mm. Stubborn. <laughs> yes! So he's shaking them. God! <laughs> there are so many shaken units on the battlefield. I've nearly run out of tokens. Uh, uh, and then just this unit over here to shoot at them. Who are shaken? Uh, they're shooting at the... Yeah, there has to be the pikes, doesn't it? Pikes, so it's plus one for short range, minus one for shaken, so fours. two dice hitting on fours. One. One. One save of four. And my unit is stubborn. No, so there's one on them as well. Okay, so now it's time for hand -hand combat. Miller, where do you want to start? Well, there's none here, so I suppose we'll stay with the Dragoons. Okay, so the Dragoons are going to get three dice. Um... And I'm getting four dice. Now we're both... It was a draw last turn, wasn't it? Yes. So we both tested. So we're both hitting on fives. One. One. Oh. None. Okay. So one save of four. Saved. Um, okay, let's have a look at the result. Okay, so you're defending an area which gives you one. I'm supported, which is one. Which means it's a draw. So we're both testing because we're both shaken. Right, first... Oh, Five, so they retire, which in the... Well, we'll do that in a minute. Let's see what mine are doing. Mine stay put. So they retire out of that zone. So essentially, they're going to move out of that zone. So they're basically going to be where the horses are. They're basically leaving the zone. But they're not mounted. No, but I'm shaken, so I can't occupy. So, But they've done well. They've held that for pretty much the entire game. Stubborn. They are, even though they haven't got that rule. <laughs> which one do you want to do next? Uh, the only other combat that's left, I think. Is that one the fresh one up there? Just the fresh one. Okay, so um, you get two D. You're getting six dice hitting on threes because you charged. I have six dice hitting on fives. Uh, sorry, fours because I've got tough fight, uh, but I've got tough fighters, so I can reroll one. Um, and I've got the cover. That's not too good. Uh, it's four. Four, and you get plus one to your combat resolution as well. So you got four, yeah. Yep. I'm hitting on fours, and I get tough fighter. A six. So I you need six saves of four. Wow. Okay, so that's five. Um, wow. I need four saves of three. I'm stubborn. I would, I'm gonna just. <laughs> you're not bringing stubborn to another game. Stubborn. I did bring. They've got. They've got that rule. It's you're not the, bringing the king's the army book. to another game. Well, that's my army. I'm the royalists. What am I meant to do? Um, okay, so you. I've taken one casualty. You've taken five casualties. Um, let's work this one out. So um, let's work this out. I've done five casualties on you. You've done one on me. That's it. So it's five to one. He adds one to your combat resolution, but it's still not enough to bring it over. Your three casualties in excess. So if I roll three dice, and if one of those is a six, one of those casualties becomes Crawford. Crawford has fallen. But one of your excess casualties has gone. Crawford falls. You said he was your favourite as well, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no words. There's no words. Okay, um, so that means, you're, that means you're only two in excess now, right? Uh, so your break test is 2d6 minus 2. Gone. Oh dear, that's 4. They are gone, and I believe that's the brigade gone. as well. Um, so, But that's at the start of your next turn. We actually look at the start of your command phase. So they will be broken and people will be moving, and there goes the field. So while we're just clearing up, we'll get ready to go into parliamentarian, uh, the final parliamentarian turn.
Okay, so for the final Royalist turn, over here, the Kerry's Cavalry have charged into uh, the flank of the Muskets. Then down here, Bard has charged into Cromwell's fresh uh, pike block, so we're going to get some combat there. Um, they're getting supported to the rear, but that's about it. Over here, Bard joined his storming party and rallied the casualty off of them. Here, the musketeers have moved forwards to give fire. The pike block was rallied by Astley, and then these units I couldn't really do anything with. However, Hopton's unit has jumped the uh, wall and charged into the side of the cannon. Um, whoever it was, Crawford Mark II, has kind of scurried away behind the cannon. And over here, I've just got to hope that the shooting goes my way. So we'll start with that shooting, and we'll start up here. I'll start with the Musketeers over here. They're going to get two dice. They're hitting on fives because they're... Sh oh, no, but within six, aren't they? So it's plus one for being within six, minus one for um, the Shaken. So they're hitting on fours. That's one hit, and they're disordered. One save of five. Well yep. done, but they are disordered. The effects of a broken battalion start in the next command phase. So this is the big one. I don't want to fail. I mean, the cannon will be moving backwards, but it will still get a parting shot on me. So two dice hitting or plus one, minus one, minus one, so fives. Come on. One hit and it's disordered. So one save. Or oh, five. He's done it, but the cannon is disordered. Okay. Um, just keep holding the disorders. Just keep holding the so down here, this unit is going to fire up the hill at the shaken unit. I'm shaken, so it's going to be hitting on fives. Uh, two hits and they're disordered. <laughs> uh, you need two saves of five. No, Unlucky. Two so two. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's not that funny. Sorry, that wasn't. That wasn't. That was uh, two casualties, and they'll be taking a break test. This unit of that cannon can't definitely can't because there's, there's people in the way there. That can't do anything. Um, these guys here within six inches, so they're hitting on freeze with that musketeer unit. One hit, one save of five. No, uh, just one casualty, and they are now shaken. Over here, the storming party are going to fire at the retreating. Uh, Dragoons, um, which doesn't seem very sporting, but they've caused a lot of problems. Um, so I'm going to get how many dice for them? So two dice um, hitting on fours. The Dragoons skirmishers. Uh, Dismounted. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, hang on. Uh, horse skirmish, foot skirmish. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So I'm hitting on fives. One hit, one save of five. Well done. Right, that's it for the shooting. So it's just a break test on this unit on the hill. Um, and they are shaken and they are disordered. Uh, so, or disordered and two in excess, so it's minus three. Uh, six, so they retire. Um, and that is it for the shooting phase. So now we'll go into the melee. And as we're over here, we might as well do Hopton's pike unit, which has been a decent pike unit this game. Um, and I'm going to get six dice hitting on threes for charging. You're going to get one dice hitting on fours. Hopton's unit has tough fighters. So five hits. You have one coming back and in the four. Yeah. Well done. One save of four. There we go, Damn. you need five saves of five. I've got a good feeling. Come on, lucky dice. Three casualties. Uh, three casualties, yep. So you're one in excess. So you're 2d6 minus one for this roll. Uh, seven? Seven. And I said, you said I needed seven. Seven, yeah, you do. And I, So yes, you do. You, they just stay. That, stuck, that lasted longer than the pike unit. That did. Um... <laughs> The only other... Oh, so no, over here we've got uh, Carey's horse unit. So because they're fighting over the obstacle, they're not going to get their, their charge bonus, are they? They lose. Hitting on three. Six. And you're hitting on fours. No, you're five, she's shaking. Nope. No, you need six saves or five. Uh, so so four, four casualties. casualties. Um, that's so going to put... Four in excess. Four in excess. So it's 2d6 minus 4 for the test. 6. Uh, 6. So they, that's amazing. So they retire uh, back towards uh, the pond. I was, well, I'm not going to um, jump in there because it's just going to get too messy. And then the final one. Bard versus Cromwell. So um, t is 
Cromwell going to join? No, Hell is yeah. Is Cromwell joining Let's the combat? Let's get him killed. Let's go. Let's get him going with Cromwell. All right, so Cromwell's joining. What does he add to combats? Uh, it's only what? if it's iron side, so it's just the plus one. All right, okay. Oh, no, he doesn't add anything, does he, at that point then? So I wouldn't put him in, because it's only the special rule or plus one, isn't it? But because so yeah, there's no iron size, he's not going to get that. Oh, yeah, so it's just plus one. Yeah, sorry, yep. Yeah. Um, so he's in there, so that's plus one. That's not to their combat value, that's to their combat result, isn't it? Yep. So we've both got six dice. I'm hitting on threes because I charged. You're hitting on fours. Uh, six. Five. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Uh, I need five saves of four. Rerolling one for stubborn. So two casualties. You need five saves of four as well. I've six dice. Sorry. Uh, it, was, uh, it was... It was six. Yeah, sorry, yeah. it was six. I just took one of them out. Uh, so... Three. three. Okay. So let's work this out. Right. I took two casualties and you took three casualties, yeah? Yep. You're not in excess, are you? So, nope. No, neither of them. Uh, I'm now shaken, though. Pipe block. Yep. So I did three casualties on you and I'm supported to my rear. So for a result of four, you did two casualties on me and you have Cromwell, which makes it three. So I've one by one because the shaken unit can't yep. support. Um, so you, there's no excess. There's no excess to see a Cromwell die. So it's just 2d6 straight. Ten. Ten. So no, that's it. But that is it. That is the end of the part of the parliamentarians. No, that is the end of the royalists. Um, so here we go. The final parliamentarian turn. Okay, so you didn't. F no. Didn't do anything. No, you didn't. Um, but as you just said. Uh, yeah, I didn't fail any orders, which I think is the best thing I can yep. say about that whole round. So that's all carrying on. Everything here is carrying on. And because this battalion, Crawford's battalion, is broken, that unit had to retire. But because these guys are disordered, the disorder stays on them. But they get to fire. So you might just take out a final uh, with some hail shot. We're take out. Shooting. Yeah. Okay. Where um, do you want to start then? Well, we'll start shooting. with the shooting. So we'll start with the cannon. Okay. All right. So you're going to get three dice. Uh, you're disordered, which is minus one. So you'd normally be, so that would be hitting on a six, but you're at close range, so you're hitting on a five. One. One. I get a single save of six. What? <sighs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, your musketeers at the back, are they within range of the pikes? They move back, so they might not be. They on. should, I imagine. Uh, they are just. Yeah, just. Okay, so two shots hitting on six. Uh, fives. Uh, fives, because they're, five. uh, they're yes. disordered, yeah. Nope. Nope. These guys are going to shoot at them. Okay, you're going to be. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, uh, hitting on plus one for short range, but they're shaken, fours, so yeah. fours. Yay! Yay, yeah, one save or five. Uh, and they're stubborn. Oh, casualty. Even I'm surprised. <laughs> Did you really? You had to do that, didn't you? You had to put it on. Put it on there. There you yeah. go. Um, the dragoons. The dragoons are going to shoot at them. But they're within six. They should be within six. Oh, okay. Just... Are we going to say they're because mo they're mostly behind that? Yeah, yeah. That's good. So minus one. So plus one because they're in six. Minus one because of that. Uh, so and the fives because they're shaking. One. One. One save of four. Yay! Are they stubborn? No. Cool, you can't, not even no, there. they're not. They're not. There you go. We found a unit that isn't. Uh, and they are shaken again. Um, <laughs> they could fire at the cavalry. Can they shoot the cavalry? Yeah, they can shoot the cavalry. I'm going to shoot at them instead. Uh, yep, yeah, because they're not a clear target, so you can pick those to shoot at them. So you're going to be... It's going to be minus... Six, I guess. It's going to be six because you're shaken and they're behind cover. Come on. No. Oh, lucky. Right, that's the end of the shooting. So the final combat. Where do you want to start? Do you want to go with Cromwell or leave that last, or do you want to do the cannon? Well, first? let's let's get rid of the let's just take the pipe block out with the cannon. I genuinely, I'll be really upset if that happens, but I kind of want it to happen. So uh, you're hitting on a five because you're shaken. Yay! Oh wow, I, I'm hitting on a three. And they're tough fighters. So five. I need one save of four. Take you're that. rolling for stubborn. No, one yeah. casualty. Uh, you've got five saves of five. Five of five. Here we go. Ooh. Um, so you're 2d6 minus five. 
they, yeah, it's, it's um, yeah, that's that's gone. <laughs> that's gone. He put up a better fight than the the Pike Block did. He did good. He did good. He did good. Um, and then the final combat, the final action of the game, Cromwell's unit against Bard's. Now Bard is shaken, um, but he won the last round of combat, so he's hitting on fours. Cromwell isn't shaken. He's just hitting on fours. So we've both got six dice hitting on fours. And Cromwell adds one to combat resolution. Fours, yeah. Come on, Cromwell can can win it back for you. Oh, okay. Three. Fours for Bard. Two. You need two saves of four. Two casualties. I need, how many did you get? Three. Yep. I need three saves of four. I got one for stubborn. So one casualty. So let's go work this out. So yep, I did. You did one casualty. I oh. did one casualty. I'm not in excess, and I get plus one. Uh, well, the excess doesn't doesn't oh. matter. You got plus one because of. So you got a result with two. Yep. I've got a result with two. We're both shaken, so we're both testing. I'm minus one. On two d six, seven. You hold your ground. Uh, no minuses. No. No. <whistles> I'm minus one. Six. six. I retire. And that is it. That is the last action. Is that Cromwell's men, while the rest of the Royalist army was sort of beating a retreat, Cromwell's men held out. Well, what we'll do is we'll just get sorted out and work out the points, and then we'll come back to you. Okay, so there we are. And at the end of the game, the parliamentarians have destroyed just one unit. One Royalist unit broke for two points. However, that's two points. And But for shaking units, we have three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the parliamentarians have nine points at the end of the game. Now the royalists, they did a little bit better. They destroyed or broke eight units off of the board, which gives them 16 points. So 16 and Miller has a shaking unit. So 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. That's it. How, and also, though, the Royalists captured the two looters for 23. So the result was 23 to the Royalists and 9 to the Parliamentarians. So I'd say that was a, a, a yeah, a, a definite Royalist victory. Um, I think it played well. Obviously, we're on a bigger table um, than we are normally. Um, and to me, anyway, in my knowledge of the ECW, which I admit isn't as isn't as big as yours it sort of played like an ecw battle uh how, how did you find that apart from the fact the royalist won honestly uh i think the, the big game work the big board works for the the game the larger size a lot more movement i just don't like uh your army your army but which you made me collect yeah, wow. I mean, this is the thing. Obviously, I'm using the, the late Oxford army and pretty much all of the units in this have stubborn because by this point they're losing in the war and it's the yeah. it's pretty much a lost cause, isn't it, for the Royalists. So any units that are still here yeah, are pretty stubborn. Stu they are stubborn. In, in that, and that's stubborn. it. I don't have... The thing is, I my my shooting... I mean, I get the first fire rule and I get stubborn, but I there's other... I mean, the, I don't have the breadth of units. I don't have access to the same sort of level of heavy cavalry. Um, but you didn't take any cavalry. I, I, I thought, no, because I feel like when I brought heavy cavalry, it was a, it was a whitewash. So I thought okay. I'll be a bit more... So, next, so what you're trying to say is, is we need to have another game rematch. and rematch. Uh, a rematch yeah. and the cavalry. So... Um, so there we go. But anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed this game of Pike and Shot. As we say, this hasn't at all been influenced by the fact that there's a, a release coming out from Warlord Games in a, in a couple of uh, months' time. Um, we're sure there's probably some rules in here that we got wrong. Um, you know, feel free down below just to, you know, show it. Tell us where we got it and just correct it. But as always, we have had a really good time playing this. Um, we've now got a packet all away. Or I do, anyway. Um, but yeah, anyway. I've not, I've not got anything to pack away. Really. You haven't got anything to pack away because he's been packing it away. It's been leaving the board um but anyway guys remember to go and check out miller's channel over at miller's miniatures he's doing um loads of great videos on the new epic release that's coming out for pike and shot um miller knows a lot about the ecw so if you want to go over there and uh you know see what's going on then go and check out his channel the link is down below remember as well that down below you can find out all the information for the, the channel memberships and all of that and thank you to all the channel members um it's really great to have you guys on board and also, um, i love chatting to you so please keep it up in the meantime we will be back with more battle reports we've got the uh, the saga game um will be back and uh, i think someone else might have a saga army 
who might be making an appearance at some point. So we'll have that coming up as well. But in the meantime, guys, take care of yourselves and we will see you all again in the next one. We'll see you all later. Bye bye.